Hi everybody, um, this is Lori, of course, from Lori Book Trials here. Um, if you're new to my channel, hi, um, let's see. Uh, I was going to talk about the two books that I've been reading this weekend. And two books I'm going to be adding into my reads this week. That's starting. Sorry, I'm a little sluggish today. It was not a good day for us. <sighs> we went, um, where were we going? Can't even remember where we're going now. Oh, I know. We were going to go take my my son, friend, Colton, home. And we were going to go and do... Go look for mattresses. See if anything was open. And go look at mattresses for my daughter, Robin. Because she needs a new mattress. Okay, so this is what happened. So, before we were leaving the house, for some reason, all of a sudden, we just lost power. And it was trying to come back on, but it didn't. So, this is what happened. Oh, we... We was like, oh, well, we're going to go somewhere anyway, so, oh, well, if we don't have power. Okay, so we're driving, and, yeah, we were just driving, and then we were, I don't know, we're like, like, 15 minutes away from the house, probably, and, yeah, we were, all of a sudden, up, a, up ahead, we saw a car accident. And it was snowing, of course, and the rent and the snow and the um, you know, the snowing and the roads were icy. And we noticed Rob noticed that a car, you know, the cars were all stopping and that there was an accident. And so he couldn't like stop in enough time. So he was trying to go to the side of the road where he wouldn't hit the car in front of us. And then when he went to the side of the road, someone else was trying to do the same thing and couldn't stop like we could and <laughs> right into us it went. So, yeah, car accident. Oh, luckily no one was hurt, seriously. But still, it was very scary. So, we found out that the other car that got into accident before us, he was way up ahead, or she, I don't know who it was, but anyway, we found out that they lost control of their car and went into the power, the power lines, the phone lines. So, yeah, that's what happened. But luckily, everybody, thank the Lord, especially Colton, because, you know, it's, like, scary enough when it's your own kids, but when you have someone else's kid in the car with you, you know, it's not a good thing. Not a good thing, so... Luckily, like I said, no one was, like, seriously hurt. Like, my, I can't even see. Like, there ain't no damage there. I think there might be, like, a little redness right here. Like, a little sore right there. And my elbow here is a little, you know, what you call it. But that's the only thing that got hit, like, the elbow. Is the only thing. So that's, you know, right into the side of the, um, what is it, car door. <laughs> but, yeah, it, what happened was the person behind us, she, um, she hit the, the, on the passenger side, the, um, I forget what it's called, the gump, bumper, bumper, bumper part, or whatever you want to call it. I don't know, because I don't drive, but on the passenger side, the bumper, or whatever it is, she hit that. So, the only thing bad that happened was that the bumper, you know, was completely damaged. <laughs> but that van, we learned, can take a beating, because that was, like, and the lady in back of us, unfortunately, had to go to the hospital because, I guess, I didn't get out of the car, but my husband went out to make sure she was okay, since all of us were fine. And I guess when she um, hit us, she, her, um, I guess it was her forehead or something, like, went into the dashboard or something of her car. So she got a good bump on her forehead and stuff. Ah, but her car did not get any damage whatsoever. I mean, her car was, like, fine. Like, perfectly fine. But, anyways, that's why I didn't read so much today. Because I was just not feeling good, you guys. Like, like I wasn't hurting at all besides my elbow. And then I was like, okay, I'm tired. I need to sleep for, like, just for a few minutes. And I slept for, like, a half hour. And then when I woke up, I was so stiff. Oh, I was like, oh my gosh. But yeah, thank the Lord all of us were, you know, nothing majorly. Because, man, and my son, after the accident, he was like, I saw, I knew, 
I knew something was going to happen because I saw the lady behind us, like, trying. I don't know if she was speeding or if she was losing control of her car or what, but I saw her and I did But I thought maybe she would stop in time, but nope. But, yeah. So, that's my story for today. But, thank the Lord, like I said, nobody was seriously hurt. But, let's talk about good things. Books. So, me and my friend and my... And this other girl, I can't, I'm sorry, I can't remember your name right now, but we are buddy reading Daughter of the Pirate King. We were supposed to read four chapters a day, but we're already behind. Well, I'm exactly, it. I'm behind now because I'm trying to wait for, for uh, Book Baby 8, Ash, of course, to get caught up to where I am right now. So, tomorrow, hopefully, I'll get four chapters and be at chapter eight so we'll probably be excuse me probably be reading this instead of we wanted to be done with it by thir wednesday but it'll probably be thursday before we're done with it so hopefully thursday we'll be done with it i'm enjoying it so far i mean i'm only 56 pages in but it's very <clears throat> <coughs> excuse me I'm still a little sore and stuff, and now my throat is hurting on top of everything else. But anyways, yeah, I like the girl, but I really like the guy Ridden. I think that's how you say his name, Ridden. It's R-I-D-E-N. I like him. Can't not stand his brother. I forget what his brother's name is. And I like, um, Elise, 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 how do you say her name? I don't know how you say I forget how you say her name, but I like her. She's very interesting. I'm really enjoying this. And like I said, I'm on page 56. <clears throat> Getting ready to read chapter 5. This is the one I've been really reading today. Here I am supposed to be reading uh, like middle grade. And I haven't started middle grade yet. But anyways. This is one I've been really working reading. The Wind Can Change Everything. The Disasters. How do you say it? By PC Cass and Crystal Cass. As you guys probably saw my... If you've been watching the videos um, for my haul, this is one of the books that I hauled last time. This, if you haven't watched that yet, look how gorgeous this book is. Like, amazing. And it's so good, you guys. Just in case you haven't seen it, and even if you did and you, you just want to admire it again, look at this. Look at this. It's amazing. I mean, uh, this is cool. And then, not only is that neat, but as you're reading, every once in a while, you get an illustration of what's going on. Which is awesome. Very pretty. Very neat that you get to, like, see the different things. And that's when she first meets the guy, Tate. And her name is Forrester. Let's see if I can find some other really neat ones. Here's another one. Look at this. Like, amazing, you guys. Like, like this art is just like, oh my gosh, this art. And of course, I don't want to give you that one because that one's too squarely. I'm trying to find ones that aren't so squarely. But I think the rest might be too squarely. But we'll see. This one's kind of interesting. When, apparently, when they use their power, or, or when the power gets to, starts getting control, um, taking control of them, it looks like, at least his, looks like a beast. See it? Isn't that neat? Like, it's creepy, but it's neat. You know, if I knew how to draw, this would, it would be neat to draw in this. I mean, color, not draw. But I don't even know how to draw good. I mean, color good. I keep saying draw instead of color, but yeah. But that would be neat if you're an artist and you want to and you want to color it in. But yeah, I'm really just just loving this. Like if my head ain't hurting right now, <laughs> I would continue on. But um, I'm currently on chapter thirteen, which is gonna be page one twenty nine. And there's like three hundred and six pages, so don't have much more. I should be done with this tomorrow, hopefully, as long as I'm feeling good. If not tomorrow, then definitely Wednesday. Here's one that's not really spoilerly. They're like having like s'mores or, or marshmallows. Probably gonna have s'mores. Look, that ain't very spoilerly. But yeah, 
So throughout, you get like little pictures. Okay, so those are the two that I'm kind of, that I've been concentrating on during the weekend. These are the two I want to um, start sometime this week. I want to start my reread of the Hunger Games. I cannot wait. Um, I'm still debating on if I'm going to do a, um, a reading vlog for this one. I don't know. I might, even though I read it before, but I don't remember how, a whole lot of what happened because, I, you know, it was a while ago. It was like the spring or the fall when I read it. I can't remember. It was at least five or six months ago when I read it. I mean, I know that they're the real sad part, one of the sad parts in here, but I'm not going to say what in case somebody's never read it. But I remember that, but that's about the only thing I remember. So let me know if you guys would like me, if I'm feeling better, to do like a live, like a vlog reading vlog for the Hunger Games series. So let me know. But yeah, I want to start that. Uh, probably going to start this to Monday. No, not tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow or Tuesday. Because we were going to go, like I told you in another video, I believe I told you in another video. I can't remember. I think I did. But another video, I think I told you guys that we were going to go get my mom tomorrow. But no, we're not going to because of the accident. We need to go and get the car taken care of and hubby probably going to have to get a rental, a renter car, a rental car. Thank the Lord we have it, car insurance. But yeah. So let me know if you want me to do like a vlog on this. Or a reading di a diary or whatever. The other one I want to try to read is the group read for um, middle grade March. Because all month is middle grade March and I haven't even started it yet. And... The, the one for that is Sweep, a, the story of a girl and her monster. It's about a chimney sweeper. So that was what the middle grade March group read is. So I definitely want to read that during the month. Like I said, this is a month-long readathon, so I got more time, you know, to read. Like, I'm not going to, like, go too crazy. I think if I read at least one book a week... That that would be good if I could read at least four books. But yeah, I'm really excited for to read this book. Seems like it's going to be interesting. Yeah, there's, I'll tell you how many pages there are. That's a story, you know, let's, let's see if that tells you. Nope. Yeah, I think that's it. There's 344 pages in this one. So just a little bit more than, um... Than the disasters, or however you say the word. But yeah, those two I want to start sometime this week. I at least want to finish this book, hopefully, before I pick up one of these other ones. You know, to throw in there. Or, but yeah. So these are the two that are going to get most of my attention. Well, like I said, this is a buddy read, so we're only doing four chapters a day. So, yeah. Yeah, I think I'm going to like this one. I don't think this is going to be like like a favorite book of the year. This one now, it could be a, can, a contender for a favorite of the year again. If if I, if this becomes a favorite, like I think it's going to be, this will be the third month in a row where I had a book that is a six star for me. For me, you know. But it will be a five, of course, on the other websites where you can't, you know, where, you, where they don't have. <laughs> I mean, where, you, of course, the highest you can do is five. But for me personally, it this might be a six. I mean, it's got me, you guys, like, really involved. Like, it's interesting because they're, um, so what they're trying to do is they're trying to find the other people. Because apparently her, which is Forrester, the girl's name is Forrester and the guy is Tate. Apparently they're paired together. So, they can, like, control air, I believe. I think it's air. They control, you know, like, they could cause earthquakes. I mean, like, tornadoes and stuff. That's what it is. And then they're trying to find these other people that are, these other kids that are paired together. That control other elements. So, it's very interesting. Like, I like these kind of books. So, I'm really enjoying it. I think um, having the pictures in it is, like, an added bonus. It's just very interesting to look at a book and have some of the pictures in there to let you see like what they're, what's going on with them. 
like what they're doing, you know? So yeah, I'm really loving this one. I love the characters. I mean, I like how, like, it's not insty insty. Like, you could, you could tell they like each other. Especially, you could tell he liked her, likes her. Even though she, this girl can be a bitch at times. Sorry, my language, but it's true. She can be, but, you know, she ain't. I don't want to go into spoilers, so I'm not going to tell you, you know, why she's the way she is. But she's starting to loosen up. It's funny, because they say they're superheroes, and they call themselves... What do they call themselves? I got it, uh... I got a blue in it. They call themselves the Planeteers? Yeah, Plan... It's P-L-A-N-E-T-E-E-R-S. Planeteers. Planeteers. Yeah, that's what they call themselves, the Planeteers. <laughs> they said they're superheroes. And what happened is they're both, um... They have to, like, I guess they go into their powers or something. Their powers manifest when they turn 18. So that's basically what's going on. They're trying to find them before they turn 18. And I think August something is their 18th birthday. I can't remember. But they're both born on the same day. They're tied together. So it's very, very interesting. So I think, like I said, this might become a favorite of the year. But I am going to let you guys go because I'm very tired. My arm is still sore. But... Let me know down below what books you read this weekend. Did you finish a book this weekend? I really think if that car accident didn't happen, I probably would have finished The Disasters or Disaster, Disasters, however you say it. But I just just started getting into a, um, you know, wanting to read. Oh, also, do any of you guys watch an American Idol? And if you do, did you guys watch the premiere tonight? I did. Uh, probably my favorite singer was a guy named Walker. He was good. He was the first guy that sung. I really liked him. And then um, there was a girl, and I can't remember her name. I can't remember her name, but I know she was blonde, but she was so good. It wasn't the first blonde. It wasn't the one that was eating chips, if you watched. There was another blonde that uh, was really good. I mean, really, really good. Um, I think her story was her dad... Like, he was a singer, and he was he wasn't around for a long time, but now he's back into her life and stuff, and they go, like, they go places together and sing, and, yeah, even, she's good. I don't remember her name, though, because I'm still not used to all the names, but, yeah, let me know down below if you do watch American Idol and if you did watch the premiere, if you had a stand, a favorite. He was the one I really liked, and then there was this African-American guy that was really, 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 really good. But I can't not remember his name. But it was a hard name. <laughs> it was a very hard name to pronounce. But he was really good. Like, I really liked him, too. Yeah. But. There was another one that was really good, too. I don't know if she was the, if she's the one I'm thinking about. Or if it's someone else. But there was one that. That mom, the mom is a very big fan of Lionel Richie. And the daughter, that's of course auditioning, she had the album. That was cute. That was really, really cute. But yeah. So those three were my favorite. Unless that girl is, I mean the four. Unless that girl is the same one that I'm thinking of. But I don't think so. I think that was a totally different, um different girl but yeah those I'm almost positive it was but those four were my favorite there was this one girl that was pretty okay but she let her nerves get the best of her they still let her through but I think it was more of her story the last guy was pretty good it was really sad because his um two brothers committed suicide his older brother was uh joined the military and was overseas and committed suicide when he was overseas and then he was talking about how he went to Africa or somewhere. And when he went there, when he, he got the news that his younger brother did the same thing, committed suicide. And he kind of blamed himself because he left, you know, to go sing and stuff. Oh, it was so sad. He was a pretty good singer. <coughs> but anyway, let me know. Like I said, if you guys watched it, who was your favorite? Let me know. 
your current read if you're participating in the readathons and yeah but i'm gonna let you guys go i love you guys all remember if you never if you never if you ever if i can talk need anything just let me know just comment down below i love you guys all so much if you like this video please remember to subscribe remember to like the video if you like the video and remember to give me excuse me and remember to hit the bell icon so you'll know when ever a post a video of mine is uploaded and i will be doing a video either tomorrow or tuesday and okay so i will talk to you guys all later hope you guys all have a good night and remember you guys to love one of each other and give you guys yourselves you know the people around you that you love a lot of hugs because you never know you know what life's gonna throw at you so yeah i love you guys all Mwah. till later bye Lori out